Hi guys, so this is your COVID-19 secret drinks. So what's the use of this drink? Uh, it's going to cure your COVID-19 and if you have not been infected by the COVID-19, you'll be coronavirus free. So this drink is, uh, will guarantee you that you're going to be out of COVID-19 disease. If you have any of your acquaintance or your friends or family that are infected by the COVID-19, you need to give them this and let them try. It will cure them and help them survive from the COVID-19. It's only the cost of $10 and you'll be free of coronavirus. So remember to buy this recipe. Hmm. Is there any cure for this COVID-19 disease? And I think that secret formula is not listed by the government and it is illegal. So it doesn't suit the criteria of a good medicine and it's the act of deceptive marketing. So deceptive marketing is a act of marketing that uses uh, misleading information in order to persuade or to gain the awareness of the customers to buy the product or services that the marketers provided. This misleading information are used in order to attract the customers on the high expectation. So if the customer are attracted by the marketing, they are harmful by the act of this marketing. So if the customers experience this marketing, they should be aware and need to choose a proper advertisement that is good enough in order to fit their expectation of their products. So the next transition is going to be the examples of deceptive marketing. Now, I would like to discuss about the example of deceptive marketing. There are some of the companies that are doing this deceptive marketing or misleading information to the consumer. And one of the good examples is Coca-Cola Company on one of their products, which is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. The advertisement begins with a nurse offering Coca-Cola Zero Sugar to an older person, namely Mr. Petley. This advertisement shows that after drinking on Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, Mr. Hadley becomes more interested and he is able to do a lot of activities such as getting tattoos, participating in festivals, swimming like teenagers, and Mr. Hadley is able to fulfill his bucket list. Moreover, this advertisement wants to show the audience that people who consume this Coca-Cola Zero Sugar will instantly gain more energy and would be inspired to getting more fun and enjoy their life as well as being able to another activity like Mr. Hadley did. And why this advertisement is included as deceptive marketing? It is because the advertisement protests Coca-Cola Zero Sugar as a hot drink and it doesn't show any facts regarding its nutritional value. This advertisement somehow shows the consumer that Coca-Cola Zero Sugar is a drink without sugar with a calorie and while the fact they are using artificial sweeteners which is extremely unhealthy especially for consumers that have diabetes. However, that the fact on this Coca-Cola product can make consumers, especially for older people, to be linked with separate conditions such as renal disease, cardiovascular disease, and low bone disease. Well, my friends already discussed about what is deceptive marketing and what are the examples of it. We're also going to tell you about the three impacts of deceptive marketing to the consumer's behavior. And of course, how can, also, how can it also damage the business itself? Well, the first one, customers will perceive the business as untrustworthy. Well, why is that so? The reason is simply because the consumers already feel betrayed and subsequently they will choose another brand or another business competitors who provides more truthful and honest advertisement. Furthermore, this makes to our second impact which is consumers will change the brands to other competitors. Other than consumers will see the company as untrustworthy, consumers also will perceive the product as no value at all. Consumers will start feeling doubt about the product and in the long run, consumers will forgetting about the product which at the end of the day, this will give that particular business a huge loss that will impact in the long run. And the last impact of using a deceptive marketing for a business campaign, well, it can create a false hype and it would change the consumer's purchasing trends. Well, when some business decided to deceive their own customers, 
once the customers believe to the ads, it will it will definitely make a false hype. And which later on, when the customers know about the fact of the product, that particular company will get it sued by for deceiving their own customers. Well, for instance, this is actually happened when Activia Yogurt claimed on the campaign that their product is more beneficial while other yogurts didn't. Well, due to this, Activia Yogurt needs to pay approximately about 45 million US dollars a court for, for deceiving their own customers. So, it is come to an end that when a company using deceptive advertisement for their campaign, it will impact both in the long run and in the short run, which this potentially could lead to a business failure. Okay, so after listening towards the examples and the impact of deceptive marketing towards the consumers, uh, we can or I can conclude the deceptive marketing is not observable on the community. It is a fraud marketing that will have a bad impact on the two parties. On the side of the marketers, they will gain profit, they will, they will, get, they will gain uh, lots of profit, but on the long term side, they will have a really bad reputation because of this act. If it keeps on going, they might receive a worst case of a bankruptcy. And on the sides of the customers, they are really get a harmful action by this uh, by this marketing. They will have a bad experience and uh, some issues that caused by this deceptive marketing. And in the worst case, their mental health might be uh, endangered by this technique. And furthermore. Uh, I suggest that uh, on the parties of the buyers to be more uh, picky and selective on choosing a products as nowadays marketing are bad marketing and they need to be wise on selecting the products that they want to buy from the advertisement that they see and for the marketers it is suggested to prevent this such of marketing technique and Therefore, your business is going to be long last and will have a good feedback on the community. Uh, that's all. And